Hi, I'm Corey Ringdahl with the Red Carpet Report. We are on the red carpet to talk about uh, Amazon's uh, The Man in the High Castle, Season 2, uh, on Amazon Prime. Hi. Hello. And who am I speaking to? Eric Olson, executive producer, head writer. Fantastic. So uh, I looked at your credits uh, previous to this. How do you, you... You worked on Arrow, is that correct? I did, yes. For my friends Greg Berlanti and Mark Guggenheim. Okay, good, 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 excellent. Um, how does a show like Arrow, which is so much more... I guess, episode-to-episode, action-packed, um, differ from a show where it's, it's all simmer. I mean, it's, it's all just foreplay for all of season one. And then, and then season two, we're starting to, you know, second base this stuff. Well, there are longer arcs in this type of storytelling. You know, you just have, you have longer time to develop and go deeper. Um, like, Arrow's an incredibly successful, fun show. You know, we, we had an entirely different storytelling model with that. You had self-contained episodes within larger arcs. And so it's, it's just a different way to going about and breaking the stories. Um, you know, this is, this is a uh, very much a kind of a, a tapestry of lots of different kinds of storylines uh, thematically echoed off one another and woven together in a way that, as you're right, kind of simmers and then builds and then explodes and hopefully in unexpected and really entertaining way. So I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that people love season two because we had a hell of a lot of fun breaking it and writing it. Right on. That's great. Um, so how, what, how is it different uh, between, I guess, network television and something more, um, more directly serial like Amazon? How is it different? How, like in, in a production aspect, like... Uh... Well, um, on a show like this, uh, longer period to shoot it. Um, you have longer period usually to write it, unless something goes wrong and you have to kind of scramble to, to you know, stay in front of the cameras. But um, it, it's, uh, um, you're also doing 10 episodes as opposed to 22. Um, and so um, there's, I guess, more time put into any one of the hours um, from a production standpoint as well. And, and certainly when you have the resources of Amazon behind you and they have deep pockets and tremendous passion, you're able to get cinematic value that, that it's, it's just not possible really on a network show um, um, given the, the current economic models and the pressures to pump out a new episode every eight days, you know? So it's, it's like with, with, with a show like this, you're able to, to go a little deeper and, and work on them a little bit longer and hopefully that ends up showing. That said, I love, I love the network model too. It's just a, it's kind of just two different business models. So how do you, do you work on it like on a, on a week to week basis with Arrow, for example, um, and it, like take fan feedback and, and incorporate any of that? Or, because uh, if, if that's the case, then how does that jive with, with working on an Amazon project where you're releasing all the episodes at once? Well, you know, I mean, with this, you work on all 10 episodes over the course of a year and then you drop them all at once. So there's not a lot of interactivity except from the fans of the previous season. You obviously are paying attention to that and you hopefully take stock of your strengths and weaknesses and, and you're able to go deeper with characters because the first season is very much an introduction to people and then you're able to, to just dig into different characters and, and different relationships and, and one of the great one of the most fun aspects of a writer's room is when you get to the point where you can start to bounce the characters off one another in unexpected ways and they start talking to you and that, that's kind of that, that's when you're in the zone and as a writer you're just you're, you're, you're letting the characters talk to you as opposed to trying to just set stuff up. And that's something that novelists talk about and comic book writers talk about. You find that you're getting more of that with the Amazon project. Yeah, I, I, I think so. And certainly, you know, longer form television loans itself to that kind of model. So, Great. Thank you so much. It's been very informative. I appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. This was amazing. Uh, give us a like, give, uh, definitely subscribe, and leave me a comment below. Um, hope you enjoy uh, Amazon's Man in the High Castle as much as I did. You can watch season two of Man in the High Castle on Amazon Prime right now. I'll wait. Are you, are you done? It, 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 right, go, gone.